Hi, this is Tim. You see in the frame, and I'm Shauna speaking <laughs> for once, uh, showing squats, one of the exercises in Beast Genetics. Um, we're going to show you a series of six squats, and we're going to start with a basic one. Tim is already in a good shoulder width stance, and he's descending down, flexing at his hips, keeping his knees in line, the middle toes, which is your shoelaces. Now showing from the side, you'll see he's keeping his back straight, meaning chest is upright, he's not arching or rounding his back. And then he lifts up his hips, careful not to overdo it. That's the basic squat. <laughs> Next, it's going to add a balance challenge in lifting a knee. Then you descend down, make sure to reset your feet where they're down as best as you can. Lifting up trying not to lean with your shoulders. Just lift the knee as high as you can. He's going to show from the side. Just to see those nice level hips. Back stays relatively straight. That's the squat with the knee lift. Next it's a squat with a side step. So you might start a little narrower. You know, more like a hip width and then step into your, your shoulder width squat. And bring your feet back together. Alternate sides. Again, being sure, try to make sure your knees are following the direction of your toes. You can always use your hands. Ooh, next is a challenge for your core and your shoulders. Tim's going to lift up one arm while he descends into a squat, avoiding overrounding or overarching his back, so it might not go as deep. Tim's been working on it for a while, so he's gotten pretty deep. <laughs> Good. Arms should be straight, depending on what's going on with your shoulder flexibility. But more important is to keep all the other factors of your squat the same. Hips level, back, but not rounded. Next is a plie. So this is going wide and extra externally rotated. That means the hips, knees, and toes turn out even more than usual, as long as those, again, knees are following the toes. So only do this at your range of motion. Tim can go out pretty wide there, and his knee, his shins, you see, are practically perpendicular, which is impressive. <laughs> okay, finally, this is a real core challenge. Um, if you bring your hands behind your head, we call that prisoner. <laughs> prisoner squat. Uh, you want to be careful not to hunch your shoulders when you do that and not press on your head. You're just putting your fingertips behind your head. You should almost go in the other direction. Press your head back against your fingertips. All other factors the same. Feet shoulder width apart, knees going out in the direction of your toes. And again, some of you might not get as deep as Tim. Tim's been coming out in this nice mid-August heat, getting his spine warmed up. So only go <laughs> as deep as you can uh, without rounding your back. And you should be looking directly straight ahead. If you find yourself starting to see the floor, only push your butt back, don't bend forward. All right, so those are six basic squats. Get started with your Beast Genetics program. And uh, all right, good luck. Bye.